Russ Mitchell back here at the SEC Media Days for Campus Insider, standing beside perhaps the most important man here, Mike Slive, the commissioner of the SEC, going on 12 years, 13 going years? Going on 13. 13 yeah. magic years here in the South. And, Mike, I suppose the first question that's on the mind of a lot of SEC fans is the issue of scheduling. And I know it's difficult when we now have 14 teams, but we have an eight-game schedule a lot of other conferences are moving up to 9 and 10. Do we have to do that? Do we have to move up in number of games? Well, I think uh, everybody talks about 9, and I haven't figured out exactly why that's some sort of magic number. You know, why? And so what we've done is to retain our 8 game, but we're gonna, everybody has to play somebody from the other league. So we have a 9-game schedule. In effect, it's our other 10 teams catching up with the other 4 who, you know, Florida played Florida State and it's Clemson. And so now we really have a nine-game schedule. And our theory simply is this, that strength of schedule is a 12-game schedule, two-thirds of the conference games. We have the toughest conference to play through. So with this minor addition to our conference, we now play the kind of schedule. If everybody thinks nine games is nine, it's something magic. We have, no, we have the magic. And I meant nine conference games there at the beginning. When we talk about another big issue, you mentioned it yesterday during your... Uh, during your keynote speech, auto autonomy, the big five autonomy. So tell us a little bit about, about where you see that going. I know you've been a champion of that for the last seven years. Yeah, you know, I think maybe it's easier to, sometimes when you use the word autonomy, it's sort of a selfish kind of word you're looking for. But if I translate autonomy to mean the five conferences want to have the ability to provide our student athletes within the context of a collegiate and model and with the context of an educational model. And uh, in the past, we haven't been able to do that. So that's really what it equates to, because everything we want to do is attached to what we can do for student athletes. All right, last question. Ten years from now, <laughs> you'll, hopefully, you'll, you'll, be, be here. <laughs> you'll be sitting on a beach somewhere with your lovely wife. Ten years from now, and you look at college, at college football, not just the SEC, but where would you like to see college football in 10 years, where would you like to see it advanced? Well, right now, college football, at least by the polls that I've heard about, you know, is the next to the NFL, the most popular sport. I would, I would like us to maintain that. I would like to make sure that all of the players that are playing are getting an education and graduating or coming back under a scholarship that we can give them to get their degrees and that fans still come to our stadiums, even though they might watch some games on television. We want you to come to the games when your team's at home, and we want you to watch all the other games on television. <laughs> and so uh, that's what I want. And I want it always to be part of this very unique, unusual fabric of American society known as intercollegiate athletics. It's part and parcel of who we are. Mike Slive and Russ Mitchell here at SEC Media Days signing off for Campus Insiders. Stick here for all your college football news. <laughs>